To understand this topic of transformation, let us create the Swiss Re building. It's just an example that I'm showing where we are going to be creating the facade first. And in the process, we are going to learn how to rotate, move, scale objects. To begin with, I'm going to take a simple circle. So as a habit, I'm going to take it from Grasshopper and not from Rhino so that I can play with the radius the way I want. Let's start with a 15 unit radius. I need to create the structure which is going to be looking like this. To do that, I'm going to first copy these circles all the way up to the height. To do that, I'm going to go to the component transform Euclidean move. Why not copy? Because in Grasshopper, when you move something, it automatically gets copied. The original is as is and you have a moved object. So the original stays and you get a copy of it moved at whichever point you want. Now observe, I do not want it to be moved only once. I need it at specific distances as we go along. Which means I need to first give it a vector. Let's go to vector, take unit z. So I'm giving it a vector in the z direction. Because it's a unit vector, it has moved up only by one unit. So instead, I need to give it a number of points. Now I could have given it a series. But giving a series is of no use because I don't want it at equal intervals. I need it at specific positions the way I would want. Hence, I'm going to teach you a new component over here called read file, where I'm going to input a text file. To do that, I'm taking a simple notepad and I'm going to feed in the height at which I want the circle to be moved. I'm going to move it at zero also. Why? Because my original is going to be over here. I want a copied item also at 0. So let's say 0, 15, 30, 50, uh, 60, 80, 100. Observe, I am not going to press one more enter and keep a null item out here. I'll bring it back. I'll save as and I'm going to name this as height.txt replacing what I already had and I'm going to give this right click on F select one existing file and I'm going to take this height suddenly from orange everything has become gray because it received its parameters and you can see let me hide this original circle you can see that I have moved it by 0 15 30 60, 80, 100. Obviously, these are just random values that I have taken. I may change them. For example, instead of 15, I make it 10 and I say Control S. The moment I save it here, you find that this has automatically got changed. If I press Enter and a null value, I'm going to get an error here because it could not convert that null value to a number. So, remember, Null values are not allowed. Same goes with the last one. Preferably avoid it. So as you can see, I can change any of these values the way I want, whenever I want. What do I do next with this? These circles are going to be at the same level. I want them at different sizes because only then I'll get this smaller, larger, larger and then again receding inside. Which means I have to scale each of these circles. So I'm going to go to transform, affine, scale. When I say scale, by default it is going to get scaled at 50% value. 0.5 is the default scaling factor. C stands for center of scaling. 
which is currently 0 0 0 which is why you can see that all are getting scaled lower and lower they are not in the position they should be ideally each one like this circle should have got scaled with respect to this center how do I get the centers right I have two options one option is to go to surface analysis and take the area of the circles I automatically get a centroid which I am feeding in the moment I feed in the centroid to the centers you find that it is all getting at 50% scaled down there is another way which I generally don't use and that is going to curve analysis I am taking the control polygon of this curve and then taking the polygon center of these control polygons which also would have given me the requisite center but I prefer using the area component so instead of two more components I am using one single component to get my centroids now comes the scaling factor I want it scaled at different levels like this could be scaled at maybe 0.8 this would be 1 1 maybe 0 0.6 or 0 0.8 0 0.6 and this will be as low as maybe 0.1 so just like this height text that we have created notepad we have created I'm going to create one more notepad and let me give a scaling factor of maybe 0.8 0.9, 1 or 1.0, 0 0.6, 0 0.4, 0 0.1 or maybe 0 0.05. Observe I haven't yet specified anything. I don't know whether it is correct or wrong. So I'm going to be just playing with it as I go along. So I'm going to say save as, let's save it as scale. And let me bring one more input read file right click set one existing file scale open let me hide the moved objects and you can see that I'm getting some sort of a resemblance of my structure whether it is correct wrong we'll yet to see it will be much easier if I go to surface and I choose loft and create a loft using these curves to judge my design and then looking at these two I can play with my values and decide whether it is right wrong so on so instead of 30 if I move this to maybe or maybe at 60 I say I want point 0.8 control s and my design changes instead of point 0.4 I say point 0.6 and my design changes looks much better maybe I want to make this 25 yes and instead of 6, 6 5 yeah basically play around the way you would want to get your structure correct now that I'm satisfied oh I haven't saved it let's save it so this becomes small facade of my building however this is not the end of the story I also want my facade to have the lines on it so what I'm going to do is let me just hide the preview of this for the moment and I'm going to take curve analysis endpoints of each one of these curves Using these points, I am going to go to curve, spline and take an interpolated curve passing through the points. This curve is currently straight. What I eventually need is a curve that goes around the building to the top. And to do that, I am going to divide this curve into a number let's say 40 
and on each of these points i'm going to add a small polygon maybe a triangular polygon so for the triangle i'm going to change the segments to 3 from it i've got triangular polygons however they are very large in size so let me play along this is too small okay so maybe 0.5 should be the top yes these polygons i need not in one direction but i need them rotated over the curve and to do this i'm going to go for range because i know that i want it to be rotated at from 0 to 360 degrees so i'll go to math take a construct domain where my a is going to be still 0 but my b has to be 360 degrees how many steps do i need the same number of steps that i am dividing it with so if i'm getting 41 points here i'm going to get 41 answers here also i need this to rotate So I'll go to transform Euclidean. I'm going to take a rotate. Rotate what? Rotate the polygons. By what angle? I cannot give this same angle over here because Grasshopper understands angles in radians only. Whereas what we have done is zero to three sixty, which is degrees. Hence I'll go to math, and in trigo. I have the option of converting from degree to radians. So I'll pull that component in, and then push it to the angle. You can now see that these polygons. Let me hide the original ones, and let me hide the divided points, and let me hide the interpolate curve. So if I had just placed it at 180. it just starts from one end and goes to the other which is more likely the case in uh, in terms of swiss ray but i don't want only one so what i'll do is i'll use loft again so that i have created this surface let me hide the triangles again this surface let me cap it right now itself so i'll go to surface util cap holes and i need to array these so i go to transform array i'm going to take a polar array what to array this to array plane x y spine numbers and angle 2 by pi is nothing but 360 degrees so i can choose whether i want 10 12 8 how many numbers out here and from top this is how i see it I need a mirror of this for the opposite direction so I go again to Euclidean mirror and my plane is fine I'm going to now bake each one of them first let me bake the loft before I bake it I I can also cap this So I'll say big. Okay. I need to group all of them together, so I'll go to transform util group this using shift. I'm adding the other one, and I'm going to make the grouped items. So if I close Grasshopper. this is my shaded output so here we have seen how we can move scale rotate array and mirror objects